Um, I got a text from Carl yesterday, Steve. A text from Carl, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll just read it to you. Okay. See you to Moz for a face rub at 6.30 then. No bum tubes, though. So I was intrigued, and I called Carl and said, I think you've just sent me a text by mistake. What's the explanation of that? My mate, right, Ruffell, he just said, he said, you know, you, you, there's things that go on in life that you need to experience. Yeah. He said, just, just pop along, and I, I, I didn't say yes straight away. What's a face rub? You mean a facial, where you lay down... You just clean your face with a flannel yeah. and that, so but you're going to go lie down with another man and have your face Well, no, bit. this is what I was saying to him. There's, well, there's a couple of questions. I didn't just say yes straight away. I questioned it. I said, well, I'm not that happy with this. So I said, look, there's nothing weird going on here, is there? I said, it's not a house, is it? It's a proper <laughs> clinic and that. He said, yeah, it's proper. You wear a, a dressing gown and that. I said, well, I'm not that So happy he's already got you in the dressing gown? Yeah, well, I haven't agreed to that. Today I've worn a little round polar neck sort of jumper so I don't have to take it off. It's not going to get in the way of my face. I made sure I didn't wear a shirt with a collar. I'm not taking this off. They can put the dressing gown on top of this. Right. Okay. I don't know if it's a woman who rubs my head. I don't know if it's a bloke or, or whatever. Well, the thing is, you get extra, don't you, for your face rub? Because your face goes all the way back over the oh. top of your head down to the back of your but, neck. But all I was, so you've got a big face, haven't all, you? All I was saying to him is, I'll have the face rub, but I don't know if, if once you're in there, right. they try and sell you the old... Uh, the old... The, uh, the bum tube thing. I, what, what's what, a bum tube? The, is that a euphemism? What are you talking about? The thing where they pop a tube in and put coffee in your belly and it cleans you out and that. An like enema? That. Why would you have that? I don't, I'm not, I don't want it. I don't, I don't think Why you not? need to. Just because I think I've said to you before about, you know, you, you don't need to be that clean inside. You know what I mean? I don't mind washing my face. <laughs> what, what occasion do you need where you're that cleaned out? <laughs> do you know what I mean? And it, it, it's always a clear tube and that, and you see all the stuff whizzing past. I don't understand why it's clear. I don't know why you've got to see what's coming out of you. Like it's, you know, like the generation game, making notes of what's whizzing past. Forget it. I was watching uh, some different TV, saw an amazing documentary, it was called Tribes. This guy, and he goes and lives with different tribes around the world, these small little indigenous people. Right. And uh, there was one, he went, to, he went to Papua New Guinea in Indonesia, right, Carl? He lived with the Kombai tribe. All right. Now, this Papua New Guinea is an extraordinary place because it is one of the only places left on Earth that hasn't been fully explored. There are parts of it that it's just blank on the map because they, they've never explored there. They don't know what's there, they don't know what's going on. So, firstly, that must already freak you out. Imagine that. 21st century, they have no idea what's going on down there. But do they, do they need to know if there's nothing going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, they... They don't know what's going on. There could be stuff going on. No, but there's, there's no chance that they'll go, we haven't been over there, and someone goes and there's like an Arndale centre. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's going to be there, is it? So there's no... Well, no I'll point. tell you what is there, OK? There's these various small tribes. Some of these tribes are still cannibals, eating people from other tribes. Do they know they could move on? Have they got a telly? Or have they, have they seen a telly and gone, I'm not up for that? Or are they just... Are they saying... It's not the Amish. They haven't chosen But what this. is the difference between the Amish and these people? Well, the Amish are a group of people that choose to live in that way. These people are just essentially untouched by civilization. I mean, they do have interaction with civilization, and people do come there, but they, they still live in this very, very almost prehistoric way. They did buy a telly, but there was nothing on, because there isn't any uh, broadcasters. They can plug it in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have yeah. an absolute nightmare. Yeah. But there was one guy, okay, now he uh, said that his brother was dying. This was a couple of years ago, right? His brother was dying. He said to his dying brother, what happened? Why are you dying? This guy said, it was a bloke in another village. Okay, he goes over to the other village. He kills this other bloke, right? He eats him, or eats bits of him. Uh, the other village gets a bit annoyed. They go, what's going on? Why did you kill this bloke? They went, he went, sorry about that, right? They said, well, you need to make it up to us. He gave him a pig. They said, a pig's not enough. They gave him five pigs, so five pigs apparently made up for the fact that they'd killed one of them. They said, well, hang on, what are you going to do with but this bloke's wife? Why, why were they bartering? Why didn't they just get the police in and say, what's, what's going on? The, what yeah, what, police? Yeah, yeah, what, why didn't they call in Kojak? Because he'd have sorted it out, wouldn't he? What I mean is, right, they're miles away from anything, but he doesn't sound like the great place to live, right? Could they not move? Could one of them go, <laughs> do you know what, I'm sick of this. I, I'm, I'm moving or whatever and go to a proper city. How far away is this, um, these Papa people, um, <laughs> these to, Papa to, people. To, to the next, to the next... They're like, like the Smurfs, they're very like the Smurfs. But how, how many miles away from, a, like, a place with a normal life going on? But think about this, Carl. Firstly, they don't speak the language. 
So they don't have any practical skills. They've got no experience of civilization. So even if they chose to go and live in one of these cities, what can they do? How can they function? I think there's some bacteria that has better lives than that. <laughs> That's got to be offensive. Why? <laughs> okay, how about this is the one of the weirdest things. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest things, right? <laughs> People, an yeah. entire race just of people. No, just no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not having a go, but I'm just saying I, I wouldn't fancy it. Is what I mean. But they don't know of ice. another world. How can they imagine that they could? Oh, I'll tell you what. This is boring. I'm tired of, of hunting for food and, and eating fish from the river. I'll tell you what. I'd like a world where there's iPods and room service. I'm going to go and move to New York. They're not thinking like that, are they, Carl? Because they don't know. About <laughs> people go to these places on holiday now. They like a little bit of danger. They like to see how the others live. Mm. So all I'm saying is, we know they exist. Yeah. The Papa people, maybe people aren't going there. I, you know, it doesn't sound like the best place. You know, I can't imagine it having a, a tourist board or anything, right? But would they accept me if I popped over there and, you know, with Suzanne in Papa? Well, OK, this is, this is one of the things that they, they do, OK, which is a tradition you may have to do. These uh, combi, right, they invert their penises. So they push their penises back up inside their bodies. Like a sock. What for? Well, keep it out of the way. Of what? Well, if you're running through the undergrowth chasing a, a, a hog, you don't want it clapping away, you know. But, but it's also become a kind of ceremonial thing, so if you were over there, you may well have to try it yourself. You, you would have to try it yourself. If you went there, you'd have to try it Definitely. yourself. But even caveman had little pants on. Why, why haven't they? Whoa! Whoa. Uh, Slow down. Rewind. <laughs> what do you Again, mean? you've been watching the Flintstones. No, 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 it's just, you know... Is it a leopard skin pair of pants that's actually quite right. a... Go on. But, but it's a well-known fact that they wore, like... Bear pants or whatever. Bear pants? <laughs> what do you mean, just, bear just, pants? Just, no, 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 listen, you are, you are a qualified uh, anthropologist, so what... Um... I, mean, I mean, that you know, you, when, whenever you see them on footage or in a museum... Footage? Yeah. Or, <laughs> whenever or you where, see that... Well, it's a bit shaky, it? yeah, it's black and white as well, isn't it? Caveman footage. I, I, you always see them wearing a little bit of fur, fur little pants and that. So, what I'm saying is, even <sighs> though, what, what year is it to these um, people in the woods? What, I mean, what? I don't know what this conversation don't is know. anymore. I, he, he's just clutching at straws. His mind, his, uh, it, it, it's like um, a fly, his mind, isn't it? It's just buzzing round, it's trying to find a window. It, it, it is just it's like... hitting against pieces of information, but then yeah, just yeah, bouncing yeah. off. Yeah. Days to perplex. Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, shopping with Carl before Christmas, and we went round sort of Piccadilly and St James's and those really beautiful shops around there and I went in one shop you had to um, ring a bell to enter yeah they came down and it's like a, a iconoclastic sort of shop and they they found things from churches and uh, uh, nearly all Russian 16th century pieces onwards this beautiful uh, uh, carvings and, and paintings and statues and I went oh it's beautiful and as I was looking round I heard Carl sidle up to the bloke and go what's the newest thing you've got here <laughs> yeah sure that's his first thought I mean, that is the wrong question to ask of a man who's clearly in antiques, yes. um, proud of the fact he's got 16th century, uh, kind of classic Russian stuff, to ask, what's the newest thing you've got here? Is that, I mean, what sort of question is that? Oh, I don't know, probably the doorbell. I don't know, what, what does he want to say, oh, my shirt? What, what, <gasps> what were you, were you thinking? hoping for? I, I think it's an alright question, because he, he was saying there's loads of old stuff in there, and he kept going on about the old stuff. So what did he say? Well, what's, what's the newest thing you've got? <laughs> and what was do you know the what he thing? said? To, the other question he asked him, he said, how often do you get new stuff in? And I said to him, why did you ask that? He said, well, I was thinking, if you've got antiques and you sell it all, what's left? Like someone's going to sell all the antiques in the world because they're not making, he said, because they're not making any new stuff. What does that mean? They're not making any new stuff. But I know for a fact, no one's ever going to go in there and buy the lot anyway. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I'm not at any point in my life, and I don't think it'll ever happen, will I go, I need some old Russian wood. That's, it was that's, brilliant. No, it was, it, Steve, it, no. it was beautiful. It's amazing stuff. There's stuff... There, it's, there's mm. um, um, uh, these things uh, from the 16th century of sort yeah. of like saints and monks, and they're carved but and there's they're... loads of it. It's just all piled up. No one's interested. Oh. If I was him, I'd go, do you know what? I'm into this, but no one else is. Close shot. <laughs> because seriously, it's just piled up. Piles up on piles of like old... Bits of wood with pictures on it and that. But there think of a fella. man. Just think of a man four hundred years ago that carved this. That carved this. Uh, you know. No, but nobody wants it, do they? I've never heard anyone say, 
you know, oh look, it's my birthday coming up. I'll tell you what I'd love. What? A bit of old Russian wood. 